right, so didn't realize, but I'm actually on the business side of Hong Kong. But I've just made it to the first spot that I wanted to see, which is the Bruce Lee statue. Look at that. I can't believe I'm here. The actual Bruce Lee statue, and look at the view behind him. So that's the main city there. That's the main part of Hong Kong, and that's where I'm wanting to go. But here I am now in Hong Kong, right next to the, um, the Bruce Lee statue. I just wanted to see this dude in live form. I'm a bit lost for words at the moment, so I'm going to take some pictures and obviously get a selfie of Bruce Lee. Catch you guys in a bit. The taxi driver said there's a, a laser show going on, so I'm just waiting for the laser show here. Um, we've got helicopters and that flying around us. It's already kicking off here. This is absolutely magnificent. Uh, laser show outside on the strip absolutely amazing seen Bruce Lee I've actually just got here but I thought rather than get my head down I'll actually explore a little bit and take a bunch of this place as much as I can been to a fair few places now in Asia and I've got more to come don't think anything can possibly top this <laughs> walking the streets going in clothes shops checking out all the different mouths all the stalls um, and just trying to get the back streets and that in there as well uh, plenty to see but my god I've walked more more today than I have in my life I think um, but there's wonderful sights here Hong Kong one is amazing as well oh shit what's going on here so there's a lot of police around I think it's to do with all the problems that they've got here in Hong Kong at the moment hoping that none of that's going to kick off while I'm here but if it does I promise I'll get the footage on the GoPro I'm on Hong Kong Island now which is just south of the mainland I'm now just trying to find my way back to the mainland but there's these ferries here I'm deciding whether to get one of these I'm not sure how it works I need to connect to Wi-Fi <laughs> but I have made it to the 10,000 Buddha statue. Haven't seen one yet, but I've literally just turned up. There's loads of twists and turns and back gardens and all the signs are in, as you can imagine, their language. So I've just spoke to a guy that speaks not a word of English, asking him where the 10,000 Buddha statue is. And he's just pointed fingers in the opposite way. Oh, fuck. Oh, keep that in there. Fuck me, give me a heart attack. Where the fuck do I go? Okay, be back in a minute with 10,000 Buddhas. dude's got his selfie game on don't know what's going on there yeah it's quite surprising how every single buddha is completely different um it's been quite some trek going but this is pretty fascinating there's a lot of work that's been put into this but the funny thing is it's free but this is how far i've come look at the view 
well, certainly worth it just to see what it's about. It's one of the main attractions here in Hong Kong, so I thought I'd better check it out. Look at this view, honestly. You've got the mountains above, you've got the skyscrapers just below. It looks lovely. Now I'm gonna get a drink. It was a long walk. Finally got monkeys. All I wanted to do was see a monkey. Hello, mate. Yeah, I thought I was gonna do this whole trip without seeing a monkey, but here we are. Look at him. And that's a rewarding view. I obviously didn't count how many there were, so I'm gonna trust 10,000 Buddhas. Anyway, next attraction. <laughs> Just had a little go on the dummy here, the Bruce Lee dummy. It was pretty good fun to be fair. No idea how Bruce Lee did it, but he's an absolute don. But this is really good fun. I actually want one now. Fitting in well to the uh, Asian lifestyle here. Looks like we're all rocking these masks, but it's not a fashion icon. It's purely because there's a virus going around, so absolutely boss in the face mask today. Better to be safe than sorry. dollars this was four quid for one protein shake and that's gonna give me 40 grams of protein and that's just for one serving so just make sure you bring enough money when you come to Hong Kong because you will be splashing top tip there for any lifter make sure you bring enough money to get your protein New Year Chinese Carnival. It looks like the carnival's been cancelled because of the virus. Just goes to show that I'm making the right decision because as much as I keep beating myself up about going home early, I've done loads of amazing things. I've experienced uh, things I never thought I'd ever experience and uh, I've got a lot off my tick list as well and I highly rate anybody to come to Asia. Hong Kong being very expensive but Thailand being a lot more affordable uh, but yeah many more experiences to come. I'm going to try and travel as much as I can this year but for now I'm going to sit chill, have a hot chocolate, look at this spectacular view. Bit of a shame I'm having to go, but I've, I've took advantage of Hong Kong. I've been here a little while now and I've really, really enjoyed it. But the worst thing I want to do is either get this virus or get stuck here, because where the virus stands, it's on lockdown, so no one can leave and no one can come in to that particular place. So obviously I don't want that same thing happening here as well. I've got a flight at half 12 in the morning, and then I've got to get through the jet lag and back to work to increase the funds to come out and do it all again in Thailand. Okay then guys, that's it. So I'm now back home then. Well, I've been back for three months. I found out if I was to come back the day after, I would have been quarantined for two weeks. So I made the right decision coming back. Uh, what an exceptional experience I've got to say. I just want to say thank you so much to my friend Arapin and his family for being so welcoming and being such great hosts. Arapin really made that experience for me. That was I couldn't have asked for a better introduction. He took me to a really cool gym, a proper nice restaurant and a night out as well, which was an absolute blast. And clearly I couldn't keep up with the drink, hence me being sick. I'm just sitting here now, kicking back, having a pineapple and tequila. I'm really glad I've done that. I would do it all over again, over and over again. I had the best experience of my life and um, I can't wait to go back and do it all again. Thanks so much for watching though, guys. If you haven't already, please watch part one and part two as well. And if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would be greatly appreciated. So I'm now gonna sit back and watch all of the completed footage, which I'm so glad is done, because I've put so many hours into it, wind down and, and call that a wrap. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yo, this shit, oh,